Alrighty. Mate, out here my intention is to get a few tailor. But the tide is coming in and it's gonna be uh, about two hours before it moves out. So in the meantime we're gonna be using a tailor head on a reasonably sized hook. Um, I'm just gonna fit it through the jaw and we're gonna go for a river monster. Soak a bit, see if that's going to catch anything. I'm only using size 3 gang hooks, medium sized pilchers, they're not that big. Nice and natural. This one here going some cut and uh, it's not size, I can tell straight away but that's great. Really thought I was waiting for later on but that one there is actually what I was looking for. Nice chopper tailor. Definitely undersize this one. Won't even measure him up. Yeah, mate. Another small one. Another chopper. That one was just size. It's good. And uh, I had to stop filming before because some blokes were out here. They were casting all over the place. Anyway, so he put a, a tully he caught the other day on some snelled hooks. And uh, <laughs> within five minutes that rod just went off, went ballistic. And he fought for about ten minutes and it spat the hooks. But there were teeth marks on the leader. That signifies a good fish and not a stingray. It's pretty exciting. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, I can't stand when they do that. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's giving me curry, this one. Good size. Whoa. Really give me carry. Well, I foul hooked him all. Alright, here's a, here's a keeper. There you go. Alright. Oh, yeah, I got him under the, under the jaw. So the drag felt a lot heavier than a normal fish, but that's definitely a size one. I'll measure him up. Looks like the current has just stopped. So it's pretty eerie. In about 20 minutes time you see a bait fish jumping on top of the surface. So we're still on. Okay, this one you took it. size. You know the survival rate on these tailors if you don't handle them correctly they are pretty low so you've got to be handling them gently. Nice one. Alright he's way under. See you mate. Might have one here it's fucking man. Here we go. Here we go. Can you this one? Better this one, a lot better. 
Ah, no wonder. Fair hook in. No hooks. They feel a lot heavier when you fair hook them. Oh well, I'll we'll start to get rid of this one. Beauty. Right, so believe it or not, that one there was a size one. Look at this light. That one there was a size one. Just over 30 centimetres. Great. Great night for it too. Full moon. Um, it's warm. Oh, the tide is just done to go out. Ooh, just have another bite. And that's predicted, as soon as the tide starts to turn, the bite really picks up. Oh, bit of acrobatics here. Oh, he's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. There we go. Not a fine chopper. Oh. Here. <laughs> Another foul hook on one. Story of my life tonight. Okay. So I got something here. I just want to pick it up. And this guy here is going to give me curry here. I've got a. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this is. This is not good. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even put him any pressure. It just snapped off. What the hell? If I got bitten off, that would have been a, a shark. Because I did not give him any pressure at all. Let him run. What the hell happened? You were joking me. It just came off. Well, I, I tied it to the uh, leader. That sucks. All right, that's the final count. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so with the tail we caught yesterday, last night, very quick dinner, because I'm getting hassled here at home. You know, when people get hungry, they start getting angry. So I'm going to be a quick one out here. <laughs> That's the tail of foot, so what he done up, done it up. Chopped up a, an onion, a bit of garlic, got a chili, hot frying pan here. Gonna sort of saute them. I was so impressed with using this stuff the other day in um, the crab, I'm gonna use it again for the tailor. So it's gonna be a good quick one, tasty, bit of veggies, not many. Let's get into it. Put the chili first, onion, garlic, in the meantime I've got some corn flour, whoops, put into a plate and I'm going to lightly dust the tailor foots in it, not too much because when it gets into the sauce it makes it thicker but also it sort of doesn't let the fish fall apart and it's going to grab all the sauce. That's what I'm doing right now. Bit of tomato, crushed up tomatoes. Not too many, half a thing. Salt. Bit of basil and parsley. It looks pretty good. Mmm, spicy. Throw in some coconut milk. Not too much because I don't want it too thick, too rich. Probably half a tin. There you go. For some reason, coconut and seafood actually goes quite well. Alright, smells great. Mmm, mmm. Throw in some peas. Bit of water. Mm. 
Ja, det gör jag. Let it simmer, cook up for about five minutes. Then we'll throw in the fish. Okay, that's what we want. Ouch. Ow. Hot. <laughs> Did it reduce down a bit? I'm going to throw in the fish now. Not the two fans. Yeah, you're going to have some fish too? No. What? <laughs> yeah, right. There we go, so just leave it like that. Now we don't want to stir this with the fish in it too much because the fish will start breaking to pieces, which you don't want. Just put it down there. For one more, which I'll put on this side here. There we go. Just cover it up a bit like that. Mate, <laughs> this is alright. It's almost like a curry. The lid back on. Right, let's check this out. Ooh. Got a bit sticky, I can't turn it too much. But it looks pretty good. It's very delicate. Oh, let's right, so have a quick little taste here. There you go, nice tater fillet in. Here we go. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, anyway, so I've got it plated up on the tray here for everybody to tuck in. Um, I'll have one more piece, but I won't show everyone eating it because they might get camera shy. It's not like some people will be on here. Well, fantastic, you've got to try it. Tyler fillets, coconut, tomato sauce, pit peas, chili. Love it. See you next time. Take it easy. Enjoy. Not Don't petite. Fish. Tucker. Fish. Tucker. Fish. Fish, taka, fish, taka, man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, the fish, taco man.